Hi girls, welcome back. What's up you guys? Welcome back to another week in my life. My dad's visiting. Hey. He has a vacation and he's using his vacation to come to New York City. Yep, place where I was born. Yes, he was born in Brooklyn, lived on Long Island for his whole life. Well, I lived in Brooklyn for seven years. Oh, lived in Brooklyn for seven years. seven years. Yeah, that's a hot minute. He just got here, it's Monday morning, so we're starting off new vlog. So excited to show him my, obviously my apartment where I live, and I also have a fun list of things for him to help me with. <laughs> okay, jumping in here to say thank you to this video's sponsor, which is Book of the Month. Thank you so much, Book of the Month, for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited. So if you're a gal on the go like me, you like to read, but you don't want to spend all that time researching what book you should read when you're about to go to bed at night. I like to read at night. It winds me down. I enjoy it on the weekends too. But for me, it's just so much time and I don't know what books are good unless someone tells me or really when Book of the Month tells me. So basically what they do is they have a team that vets through hundreds of books each month from new authors, early releases, everything of the sorts, and they pick a group of books that they think that are gonna be great for that month. So then they'll present you with the October picks. And then from those picks, you pick your one book that you wanna read that month and then they send it to you and you're on your way. It's basically an online book service for readers and we love that. So the selections for this month I noticed were more like thriller, more not Halloween themed, but more like, okay, spooky season. So I think it's really cool how they tailor it towards the time of the year, what they think their audience is going to be liking. Another thing I like about book of the month is it's risk-free. So there's a skip policy where if you don't want a book that month, if you're gonna be busy, you're not gonna have time to read, you can just skip it for that month, no charge, which is really nice because I feel like they always get you with these things, but they're, they're really doing the most for us. And you can get your first book for $9.99 with my code Danielle C. So I'm just really helping you. Yes, yes, I know. So you get your book of the month in this fun little blue box here. It's just, it's just so exciting. It's like, this is the book I'm gonna read this month. Ha! <laughs> so this is the book I chose for this month. Oh, I love it. You've got great days. Thank you. Um, I was really intrigued by this book and it's, it's got a little bookmark, which we love. This is the book I chose for this month. It's called Everything We Didn't Say. And it says, one night changed everything. Juniper Baker was 19 when her world was torn apart. As fireworks lit up the summer sky, her neighbors were brutally murdered right outside their barn. And to Juniper's horror, her younger brother became the prime suspect. So yeah, more of a thriller vibe, but I think it's perfect, especially for October. I'm very excited. They have all different genres. Like this book, this is another option that they had for October. It's set in the 1950s. It's historical fiction. If you like historical fiction, this book is for you. And one of the other options is this book. It's called Harlem Shuffle by Colson Whitehead. It's a literary fiction. This one is called The Perishing. I was very intrigued by this. It's set in 1930s LA and this was an early release on Book of the Month So that's also very exciting. I'm thinking about reading this one too Just because I love rom-coms and they call this a steamy rom-com and it's a little spooky for Halloween So yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys because I think it's a really good service and a lot of my friends I talk to are like I want to read but I don't know what to read I don't know what I'm gonna like and I don't know if it's going to be good Book of the Month has got you covered so if you want to check it out for yourself head to bookofthemonth.com use my code danielle c and you'll get your first book for 9.99 that month which is awesome incredible amazing show stopping stunning all of the things i will have the link down below for you guys to check out again thank you so much to book of the month for sponsoring this video and let's continue with the vlog so currently we are set up my setting up my apple tv because i was really confused and of course he gets here and we like immediately do it <laughs> technology is just getting freaky like i am Using this is like a trackpad. Wow. This is so exciting. All my apps are so organized. Well, actually there's like no apps <laughs> Actually, do I need to go to the app store? Okay, so I obviously need to download HBO Max Welcome to the workstation. We got friends on My dad had ordered me this light switch that he felt would be good for that lamp And so I was like, I'll just wait till you get here <laughs> What would we do without Fred? I've got another station over here. My grandma sent me a cheese board for my birthday and it was broken, and so I bought this Gorilla Glue that also works on wood, so we're gonna try that. I need to go to West Elm and return these because they sent the wrong size baskets. Um, they're supposed to fit in here for my organization, but we ordered the right size and they sent the bigger ones, so we're gonna go return those. 
I have this box, which is a piece of furniture from Wayfair. It's like a freestanding over the toilet storage. So we're gonna put that together. Lots of fun father-daughter bonding. On, it's already on. on. Okay, that's full strength. Oh, so Off. it allows you to dim it. On, dim. Oh, that's so clutch. So, where do you want the wall switch? Because- It's a wall switch. Because I can mount it. Oh, I feel like right next to it. Now that would look fun. Like right, or do I need it to hang out? It could out? be anywhere in the room. No, what if, you don't. You don't. You can use it. As maybe a I just control. keep it in the drawer you right here to it keep as it. A control. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I started doing my hair and I look over and he's on to the next. Dad and I are headed out on the town. Green tank is Aritzia. Jeans are a gold day. Sneakers, you already know. Jacket is from 12th Tribe, I believe. Um, we are headed out. We're gonna go get a light lunch. I'm gonna show him my neighborhood because he did come with me to tour this apartment, but we were looking at so many that day and we didn't necessarily know which one was gonna be mine. So we had an idea at the end of the day, but we weren't sure. We're gonna go for a little walk, see what we see. It's a little like, it's not rainy, but it's just gross out. So. Hi girls. Hello. At my favorite place ever, Ivan Ramen. My dad got a chicken sandwich. <laughs> he was craving it. The fries look good though. Dig in. I like the wallpaper. It's really pretty. All right, finally putting together the freestanding piece that's gonna go above my toilet. Hopefully it's not too hard. This stresses me out, but we got it. Right, it's it? done. Hopefully, hopefully. Does it fit on the other side of my toilet? Well, there's a little bit of space. Let's take this top off. Oh, I would not have been able to do this without you. Oh, so this is nice, so I might get rid of this and just use this and this and organize it better. Um, and I'll have a nice clean look in here. I'm excited. Yay! I will link it down below for you guys if you want it yourself. Looks good. Okay guys, we're trying out a new camera so soon the quality is gonna change on this vlog. Um, but when I was on Jenna Palak's podcast, fun on weekdays, she also videoed it. And the video quality was just insane and I remember it was a really small camera. And it feels so funny to hold this because I've been on YouTube for so long and I've tried so many cameras, but there's literally something on Amazon called the Content Creator Kit. Um, I will link this down below. This is the EOS M200. I watched a lot of video reviews on it. Apparently it's very similar to this bigger camera that I already have, that, but that one has a wide lens, so it's a little nicer. Um, it's the M6 and it's really similar to the M50, which is also similar to the M6 in my opinion because the quality is amazing. They're, all the reviews said it's really good at autofocusing. This camera, I have the Canon G7X Mark III, I think. I've always had the Mark II, and then I had to get the Mark III because that's all they had. And apparently the Mark III isn't known for great autofocusing, but this, the videos I saw, it autofocused like that, and the quality just looks amazing. So I'm excited to try it. And the content creator kit is like a little tripod and remote, which I thought was really cool. Um, so we're gonna try it out, and my, the quality of this video should hopefully change very shortly. So this is the tripod. It does have a detachable lens. So my wide lens um, that I have already, I think it's the 11 to 22 millimeters. I believe I'm gonna be able to, see this autofocus is not good. I believe I'm gonna be able to attach it to this as well if I wanted, but this one's just a little bit smaller so it's better for on the go, but it's still like the same quality as my other bigger, nicer camera. I'm gonna unbox this, charge it up. Setting that up for nap time. <laughs> Got this deluxe air mattress from Amazon. It's pretty hype. Oh, and Good dim the light. <laughs> Good night, girls. Is that what you said? Yeah. That's great. My other camera's currently charging. This is like a cool little setup. I'm excited to try it. Okay, my camera's done charging, but I don't have enough time to like get all ready. We're about to go. We're about to go to dinner. Okay. So we're still on my old camera. Here's my um, blah, 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 here's my outfit. We're going to Bar Premi, Ryan's joining us too. My top is from Express, pants are from Aritzia, boots are from ROC Boots. Let's go. Oh wait, we have to take three shots. No, it might take my appetite. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a shot. I love this brand, so good, so you. At Bar Premi with my boys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Good vibes. 
Yeah. Yeah. I know. Mean, it kind of like from here. <laughs> Yum. Guys, good morning. I just got a special delivery from Bare Minerals. They brought me breakfast and some new products. How sweet. He's like, is this your New York life all the time? Um, I'm now filming on my new camera, by the way. Hi guys, good morning. Um, I think it's a little better quality, we shall see. Um, but yeah, she just came up. A gal that does PR for Bare Minerals, she's so sweet. Shout out Anna, thank you so much. Um, we've got a ton of new Bare Minerals products. We've got um, a green juice and a dirty chai. And then in here, let's see, it's from Spring Cafe Aspen. So let's see. We've got some granola. Oh my God, I couldn't have looked better right now. This looks like, oh, yogurt. Oh my gosh, fresh fruit, a whole parfait. And then, ooh, avocado toast. It's so pretty. Wow, this is just a dream. Cheers. <laughs> I'm so pumped. They also gave me one of these kitsch um, spa headbands. So like when you're washing your face or doing your makeup, it's amazing. So I'm gonna use that later. My dad's vacuuming right now. He is my king, my everything. <laughs> My Aunt Debbie is on her way on the train from Long Island. We're having a little afternoon with her, so I do need to get ready. I was just doing some computer stuff. Um, but yeah, I like live in this robe. A lot of people ask where it's from. We got it on the Essie trip, but I believe it's from the brand Rose Garden, like R-O apostrophe S Garden. Okay guys, so my grandma sent me this beautiful setup for my birthday to have like a little fall situation. So I finally got it all together. She sent me the two pumpkins and this beautiful wreath and the cheese board, but it was broken when it came in the mail, unfortunately. So my dad helped me glue it yesterday. So now I can finally ignite this little candle here. And she got me this little tray under it so like the wax will fall. So I'm really excited. It's such a pretty little fall setup and it was so thoughtful too. She was like, it goes with your apartment too. It's not too orange or anything. It's more muted, like how thoughtful. Okay guys, so I just got ready for the day. My aunt is almost here, I'm so excited. We are going to lunch at the Restoration Hardware rooftop. I made this reservation about two weeks ago to make sure we were able to go. Um, I really like my outfit, it's staying in the 60s today, so it's like we're breaking out the fall fit. This top I've been eyeing on Revolve for a while, so I finally got it, I love it. It crisscrosses and then buckles in the back. I love this gray color too, it's super fun. These jeans I've been wearing a lot lately, they're from Citizens of Humanity. I will link the top and bottoms down below for you guys. And then I curled my hair with the dry bar um, curling wand, I set up Dyson Air up today, I just wasn't in the mood for the blowing noise, I don't know why. I think I'm gonna wear these sunglasses from The Real Real. I'm excited to see my aunt and show her my apartment. We've been cleaning all morning because I, I know her and she'll notice things. So yeah, she's almost here. But yeah, that's that's the vibe. This is my dad's outfit. He's on the couch. <laughs> Yay! So my aunt Debbie is here. Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy. She got me this beautiful little housewarming gift. And it's so funny. The other day I was putting out chips and salsa for people, and I just used like a bowl. So she got me this cute little chips and dips tray, guac and roll, friend chips. Born saucy. I'm obsessed with it. Thank you so much. So thoughtful. Yay! Oh my gosh. No, you didn't have to give me anything, so it was very kind. It's ginger shot time. I don't like touching time. Cheers. Woo! Alright, Deb, here's to your health. Cheers. Mama Ginger. Oh yeah, cheers. Headed to Restoration Hardware. You guys know from the Tampa vlogs that I love going to the one in Tampa to just sit, but this one you can actually eat on the top. Look at you guys. Yeah, we could go to the High Line, it's over there. Oh boy. That... I would have got that. Oh are you jealous? You can definitely have some of mine. 
I thought it was, it said a la carte, so I didn't know it came over mashed potatoes. It, yeah, it was mashed potatoes, but then he, that's why I got the side of broccoli too. <laughs> so we're now walking along the Chelsea High Line. Um, it was right near where we were eating, and it's always so pretty, and my dad hasn't been to it before. What do you think thus far? He loves it. A little bit of vegetation. Yeah, a little, a little greenery. They haven't been to a Starbucks reserve before, so there's one right over here in the meatpacking district. So we're gonna go. Hopefully there's a table for us. It's like a fancy Starbucks. Guys, we're having issues now when I talk to my Alexa. The AC thing goes off too and starts playing music because it's um, Alexa activated and we just set it up when my dad was here. But who would have thought that it would play music from it? Like when I talk to it to play music, I assume that one's gonna go. Then that one's just like, hey, turn the temperature to 65, whatever. Um, so I just asked her to play some music and then my AC started playing music. We're struggling. So it won't let me rename the AC, but it will let me rename that. So the other name options were, I didn't even know you could do this. My dad looked it up. I can either call it Alexa, Amazon, Computer, Echo, or Ziggy. Hey Ziggy. Hey Ziggy. Yeah, that's kind of fun. So this one's now going to be called, Hey Ziggy. Play jazz music. Very nice. Well, Dad, I have to admit, hey, you are a legend. What time is it? No, you didn't do it loud enough. <laughs> Ziggy, what time is it? <laughs> it's 6.13 p.m. <laughs> Package time. Got this tray that's going to go on the bottom of my coffee table. I have a ton of candles there right now, so I guess I could put the candles. But they look really, really pretty. Did I say at the top? I meant it at the bottom. I don't know. And also, we'll be opening it in a little. The art piece for above my bed came. So we're gonna hang that up tomorrow, so I'll show you. I have no idea what this is, but it's a huge box. So the big box was these baskets I got. These we're taking to West Elm tomorrow to return. Sent the wrong size, so we've got these. And these are gonna be going in here. I started putting stuff in already, but these are just a ton of tote bags that I'm gonna use for grocery shopping. Um, and the baskets are gonna go in here, just like that. Cute. Oh, guys, I was really excited. This was for above my bed. It was supposed to be white, like a cream color, and so pretty, and they sent the wrong one. I mean, we could, I don't know if they take this in store to return, but it is beautiful, and I can't wait to get it in the right color, because that'll look great above my bed, and cream. All right, we're starting the transfer of some of this stuff to here, and my aunt had the idea, because I was telling her how like this was a little bit higher than the sink, but it has been very, very useful, is maybe take off this first layer so it's a little bit lower and like flush with this. Um, so we're gonna see, I'm just putting like random products up there. I also have a medicine cabinet. Um, these are like my more day-to-day -day essentials. I do like having my hair products there. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna move everything down one, because um, this doesn't really have much. Um, just has like bathroom cleaner and a shower cap. These hair products I can move, I think, down one. I don't know, we'll see. All right, update. This looks so aesthetically pleasing. I am so happy with this. So in the middle, I have all my hair products. Down here, I have body products. Up there is skincare and my face steamer and my teeth whitener. However, we've run into an issue because I was about to transfer all of this stuff to this one and then take this one off. However, one of the reasons I got this was because I didn't want to put my soap here because every time I would open this, it would like be there and I'd have to move it. But this, if I take this off, it'll be so low to like grab my soap. So I don't know what to do. I think I'll keep it for now. Maybe I'll just try and find something nicer. Um, but I am really happy with this and I know some people were like, I don't like it. Well, I need storage. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I'll link that below. It's from Wayfair, I think. Realized I need a, a step stool, so we ordered one on Amazon. A step stool, you won't have to get to the fire alarm. Yeah, but it'll be nice. Yeah, he's finally getting, uh, everyone was asking me about the fireball up there. Ryan put it up there as a joke. I'm not in college anymore. I'm not gonna put my empty liquor bottles up there. Um, oh, triggered. My dad said he wanted some New York pizza. Joe's pizza has come to be my favorite. Oh my gosh. And we got a salad, because their salad's really good, and I actually like their salad dressing. <laughs> He's ready for bed. Is this past your bedtime? 10.36.
Not too bad. You said you slept well last night, right? Yeah. Oh, I have to turn on the sound machine for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gotta get it going. There we go, nice and set. I'm making myself some sleepy time tea. Just spent the last hour and a half editing. Tomorrow's vlog, it's the Aspen vlog, so it's already up by now when Brooke and I went to Aspen. Um, so that's up, because I post every Wednesday and Sunday. And yeah, feeling good, successful. We have a long day tomorrow, fun, exciting things. See you guys in the morning. finally hang up my photo today we wanted to wait until I got my couch but he's here and he is so helpful and he's making it perfect so when my couch comes all is well but look at this diagram he's making on the paper towel <laughs> this is incredible things are happening I'm so excited took the wrapper off it looks so much better obviously if you want, you just hang it. let's just hang it let's just do it and then we can eat and look at it we haven't eaten breakfast yet she looks so good. She's all hung up. I'm so, so happy. My dad measured it perfectly. Cheated a little bit more here on the right side. So um, there's more room for the plant. I wanted that look of the plant drooping over the couch. So I'm excited about that. So the lamp will go all the way over there. He's measuring the length of the couch. So does it look like the couch is gonna be more this way? You guys attempting to put one of these hash browns in the toaster. You guys told me to do this. I don't have an air fryer, so that wasn't an option, but everyone said to do that. I'm just gonna do waffle, because there's not one for um, hash browns. An ideal little breakfast here. Got my egg and hot sauce burrito. Uh, hash brown, I know, it was really fast. He's got yogurt. All right, we've got a day of errands today. Um, here is my little outfit. I got this little t-shirt dress from, I don't know if it's a t-shirt dress, it's just like a little dress from Revolve, I'll link it below. I really like it. I just think it's super versatile and I love how I can wear my cowboy boots with it. These are my lower cowboy boots. I don't think the taller ones would look good. They're from Rebecca Minkoff. We were listening to Luke Combs, so I think I just got in the mood. Um, bag is my Stodd moon bag, same one as yesterday. I like to try and match the shoes and bag. Um, normal necklaces, everything like that. This is a little fit for the day. Oh, I keep getting, I'm not like used to seeing that on my wall yet. I love it. We're headed to West Elm to return those baskets because they were too big. And then we're getting the keys to the Gals in the Go office today. So excited. Brooke's doing a lot of filming today, but she was like, go ahead, go show your dad. Cause I mean, we've both seen it before already. So I'm gonna go get the keys. We're gonna take measurements of the office to see about like furniture and stuff. Here we go. First subway experience in a while. Yeah. Here we go. Just returned the baskets. Now we're headed to see the office. Nice. We're in Soho now. I'm so excited to see the office and show you guys which one we picked. It's very small, but it's perfect and we get to customize it. So we're seeing it completely empty today, I believe and getting the keys. Here's the space. I'm so pumped, we're measuring. This is the one we ended up choosing. We're gonna paint this wall, I think, um, but definitely go follow us on Gals on the Go podcast Instagram, because that's where we're gonna do polls and stuff and ask. Um, so yeah, there's not much to do a tour of. This is our view. <laughs> and there, our logo is gonna be on that door. And we're gonna put like a couch here and then like a whole, just a whole setup right here for our filming. So we're taking measurements now. All right, we just took all of the measurements. They told us we can paint this wall whatever color we want and then the rest of the walls we're gonna do white. I'm so pumped. There's a little drink section right near us. Just finished, now we're gonna go get some lunch at Dig. I want my dad to try it. Super good, fast, easy, healthy food. I've been craving Dig In since I moved here. Actually, well now it's called Dig, I guess, not Dig In. I'm vaxxed, baby. <laughs> um, I get rice with mac and cheese, chicken breast, or chicken thigh, and broccoli. And a spindrift. Yum. 
So we went to Ace Hardware and my dad made a purchase. Axon. <laughs> he got an Axon doing the most here because this really is so convenient. So he had the idea to saw one of these so it's like flush to right here. Um, so I think we're gonna do this bottom one since I don't really use it. So and it's gonna be more narrow. This to be flush? I want this to go like right here ideally. So you, you know against there. Oh you're gonna saw these though? Yeah, yeah I guess we're gonna have to do some measurements. measurements. <laughs> oh my gosh, it sounds like a dog barking. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see these are a little shorter. The grand reveal, let's push it to the sink. Oh, beautiful! Wow, thank you so much, Dad. I think that's a lot better. It's more like flush, and honestly, we looked online last night for other options, and everything was just so much shorter. So, wow, this is perfect. All right, another addition. My dad helped me put together. We're about to head to dinner. These shelves I got from Amazon, I will link them down below. It came in a four pack, so there's two bigger ones two smaller ones and I'm going to be using those here as a way to have more storage so I can layer my mugs, my cups, and I can just essentially fit more here. Here's my little outfit of the night. For dinner, we're going to a restaurant on the Upper East Side called Conmigo. It's a Mexican restaurant. Um, it's my dad's last night here. This is my sweater, it's from Alice and Olivia. I absolutely love it, it's like this beautiful orange color. Jeans are my citizens of humanity jeans. Wearing the cowboy boots still, and then the white bag. Dad's got a whole little layering situation going. I love it. <laughs> uh, shirt that someone gave me, shirt that someone gave me. <laughs> Lululemon shirt. Is it? I think this shirt is Lululemon. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Jeans, sne uh, shoes that Danielle gave me, I don't know. The From name. Dillard's. Dillard's. Nice. Yeah. He's stunting, we're stunting. Gonna go show him Ryan's apartment, and then we're gonna go to dinner. Okay. Watching Ted Lasso on the make do couch. Dinner was delicious. Oh my gosh, guys, I just did the little shelf thing to organize, and now I have so much more room for more cups and mugs. It looks good, and I still have two more that I can use throughout here. Just organized this little cabinet too. I have like my cans, sauces, and then like, you know, random sauces and seasonings. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning. Here's my little fit of the day. Sweatpants are from Aretzia. I just already know people are gonna ask. I just got them and they fit perfectly. It's Dad's last day here. Hi, girls. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> We're gonna go to breakfast. All right, we're back now. My dad had the genius idea to go to Whole Foods because I have extra hands, so he can help me with groceries. So thoughtful, always thinking. My aunt got me this tote bag for groceries. It's so nice. because There's a little zipper pocket in it too. So yeah, we're gonna go to Whole Foods and get some stuff. I need to get some things for Brooke's housewarming gift. She just moved into a new apartment and then my dad came and I just didn't have time. But one of the things I ordered, so I'm waiting for them all to come together, but I'm so excited. I'm getting her some like flowers and stuff to go with it, so let's go. There are so many amazing flower options. I think I'm gonna build the little bouquet here with this, the baby's breath, and like one more thing. Got my basket, my dad's helping me create the perfect green smoothie to start my day. So he's teaching me all the ingredients I need, it's so cute. All right, grocery haul time. A bouquet I picked up for Brooke. I'm gonna put it all together. Here are a ton of produce. So I got blueberries, because I like to have yogurt parfaits in the morning. Raspberries, all the stuff to make green smoothies. We've got chopped kale, black seed. Oh, hiccups. <laughs> Baby spinach, frozen mango, it's already in the freezer. My dad was on top of that. that. Sorry for the hiccups. Broccoli, these are a good snack, snap peas. Also got two of my favorite kombuchas, the gingerberry flavor, some avocado rolls, blackberries, and yo yogurt. That's everything, woohoo. Dad's all packed up. I decided I'm gonna keep the air mattress out for a little bit, because it was kind of comfy watching TV on it. Dad, you've been so helpful and fun and nice and great. My purpose in life, sweetie. <laughs> Oh, I love you. What do you have to say to the camera? Hi, girls. It's been good seeing you in New York. Be good, and be well, and be productive. 
and happy. <laughs> and happy. <laughs> Hi friends, so I said goodbye to my dad and just have been relaxing for a little bit, enjoying some alone time. I'm seriously so thankful for that man. Like, we just had such a nice week together and I'm just, he's just such a generous, loving human being. So we are headed to the dry bar. I'm getting a blowout. If you guys didn't know, um, I'm a big dry bar fan. You go get blowouts. They don't do cuts or colors. It's really, really nice, especially with hair extensions. It's a pain to kind of get my hair done. And once I get my hair done, it lasts for like four to five days with extensions. It's kind of crazy. It just doesn't get as greasy. I don't know what it is. So I always told myself when I moved to New York City, I was gonna get the Barfly membership at Dry Bar. I know Brooke has it too. So you get um, four blowouts a month and they roll over. So if you don't like use them all, um, they carry over to the next. So I have like seven right now because I actually haven't really been using them. So um, something that I'm just willing to spend money on. So I'm really excited. I'm headed to the Dry Bar to get my hair done. But I've been looking for the perfect black blazer because I just feel like it's gonna be a big fall staple for me. I have a green blazer. I have. I have two green blazers actually, I have a white one, but I don't have like a good oversized black one. And Elizabeth, my stylist, who helps me pick out outfits sometimes, she's awesome. Or she'll just be like, you need this shirt, whatever. Her name's Stylist Check on Instagram. She sent me over the Frankie shop. She's like, you have to go check out their black blazers. Um, they're all one size, just super cool, oversized. So they were sold out online and I called them because they literally was one in the Lower East Side and they were like, we have one left. I was like, okay, can you please put it on hold for like 30 minutes? I'm gonna walk over and purchase it and then go to the dry bar. Got the goods. Obsessed. Back now, I'm making a little broccoli. I need to figure out what I want to eat my broccoli with. <laughs> um, but just making a little lunch. I have my hair in little clips just to keep it out of my face and so I don't touch it. But she did such a good job. If you guys are wondering, when I go to the dry bar, I get the straight up, which is basically straight, but it's more of like a blowout look with the um, curled in ends. Not curled, but like rounded ends. Oh man, you guys, I just found two pieces of Joe's pizza left. I'll just I'll just have one with my broccoli. Yep, that's that's the plan. That's the plan. It's called balance, right? <laughs> okay guys, here is the fit. Here's the blazer. I am obsessed with it. It's the Frankie Shop boyfriend blazer. It's so perfect. I love the contrast of the big blazer with the little heels. Um so I'm wearing this dress underneath. It's from Princess Polly. I'll link it below. It's just like a little black dress, some layer necklaces, the blazer that I got today. And then boots are from Vince Camuto. I will also link them down below. They're actually comfortable. If you watch me for a while, you know I only wear shoes that are comfortable, that I can walk in for longer than an hour. I'm gonna put them to the true test tonight, but I think we're good to go. Um, as for bag, we're gonna do this little baby blue bag for a little pop of color. And then obviously I have the three little flowers, and then I got her two little Colombe um, lattes. So I feel like it's a cute little housewarming gift. Something different, but flowers are still involved. So we're gonna go bring that to her and then we're gonna Uber over to American Bar and meet up with Ruby and Kit and I feel as though we're gonna go out after. So let's go. All right, here at the gals. Hi guys, American Bar, iconic spot. Got a Cosmo. I got pasta, they all got salad, love it. Good morning, playing Jazzy Morning playlist on Spotify. It's been my new favorite thing. I slept amazing. Today is gonna be a self-care day. Today is gonna be a me day. I'm so excited about it. Gonna like make my bed, put some clothes away, fold laundry, just literally I have the whole day to myself. So let's get started. Going to attempt to make this green smoothie my dad helped me concoct, we've got Spinach, kale, mango, chia seeds, and flax, and a little water. He suggested oat milk, but that just sounded weird to me. So we're gonna try it. Ta-da! It's pretty good, too. <laughs> Put all of the clothes away that were over here. This one, I it's a sweat set that just came in, and I think the top literally just got delivered to my mailroom, so I'm gonna go get it and then hang it up. Um, I'm like hanging up some of my sweat sets up here in my sets. Um, hung up some new dresses and some other fun stuff I got. I put my other Alexa over here. I had to rename it 
Amazon because they all were just listening to each other. So now this one's called Amazon, but I'm excited if you guys remember that one from my college apartment. All right, guys, I'm finally about to leave my apartment and go get some work done somewhere, maybe get myself some lunch. I folded laundry, I cleaned, I just organized lots of things, did the dishes. I just feel like very whole again. So now I have to do some stuff on my computer and I haven't left the apartment yet and my AC is just not working. It's just stuck at 79 and I'm heating up. So we're gonna go for a walk, but I feel like this vlog is already really long. So I'm gonna end it here. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and get excited for the next one. Subscribe if you're new here. Bye guys.